Hello guys and welcome back to another watch review. As promised in my last Casio review, today I have a beautiful vintage field iconic watch. It's uh, an, a homage of uh, the type A11 by Presidus watch company. Let's check out what we have here. A simple cardboard type box uh, that uh, looks like a, a Russian box from the uh, World Wide 2 era. Let's remove the sleeve. Before I open the box, would I ask you to click a like button under this video. Your every like and comment help me a lot. Many thanks. Do I need to cut this plastic seal? Mm, not sure. Let's try to open it from the other side. Yeah, that works good. So what we have here, the watch. Short manual. Tag. International warranty. You ready? Very interesting looking stainless steel warranty card. Made like a soldier dog tag with a power code. So today for review, I have a Presidus Tape A11 military inspired watch. The A11 Tom Rice is a special edition. A11 dedicated to, to commemorating the sacrifice of Tom, but also all his paratroopers as they landed in Normandy for D-Day. Tom Rice lost his watch during the drop on Normandy Beach in France in November 44. This is a remake of a history watch. The watch has the most popular and affordable moment in the world, the automatic Seika NH35 with 23 joules and about 40 hours of power reserve. The price for that watch is $299. Surgical um, great stainless steel case with a stun blasted finish. Polished case parts only on the lux top and the crown. You can see the little lux. The thickness with the crystal is uh, 12.5 millimeters. Particularly this model has a case size is 42 millimeters, but if you prefer a smaller watch, you can pick exactly like this model but with a smaller size, 38 mm. Double Doom Sapphire Crystal. Yes, the Sapphire, not a K1 mineral crystal. It's why the price is um, a little bit higher. Pull, push, unbranded, as you can see, 8 mm crown with a comfortable grip. You can operate this watch with gloves. The crown has three position, but we use only two because this model does not have a date window. Black matte dial with cream fillet indexes and green luminescent Arabic numbers and brown dots. Federal style handsets and a very good contrast between uh, the hands and the dial. As you can see, some companies made watches with a black dial and black hands. And in my opinion, it's a total disaster. You can see some examples. That's crazy, right? Do you know what interesting about this dial? Yes. I believe it's my first watch in my experience with zero text information on the dial. They do not print anything here. Time only dial with Arabic numerals, hands and 60 minute graduations. No logo, no company name, no water resistance information and no made in information. Plain dial uh, only with numbers and markers. The dial looks very unusual, right? Uh, probably it's no good for marketing, but I like the style. 
it's rare and rare that you can uh, buy a simple t-shirt without any inscriptions and brand name on it and the same with the watches uh, very rarely you can find a watch with a dial without all kind of information water resistance is 50 meters or 165 feet i can say it's not the best watch to wear in the shower or swimming pool that's why we call it a field watch the watch has a screw down nice looking decagon shaped case back with a coinage grip all around Perseidus tape a11 from rice 101st airborne division june 6 1944 was last on the day the day of the normandy landing during operation overload this watch is named after him unfortunately tom rice passed away in november 2022nd. Perseidus commits to supporting American war veteran associations and community by donating 5% uh, of each sale to partner organizations. That's great. Okay, let's try to loom shots. We have here Swiss Superluminal. There is a nice old time green loom on the hands, numbers and dots. There are two different types of loom as you can see. It looks good, but you know, over time as usual the loom fades off and this is normal. Let's check the watch out on my wrist. My wrist size is 7 inches and uh, about 18 centimeters. The green canvas, 22 millimeters width. Strap with a quick release movement is what I really like. You can swap the straps easily and fast without extra tool. There are two standard keepers and the polished stainless steel pin buckle. Unfortunately, I don't have extra straps at this time to show you how this watch looks on leather or nylon, but you can see the pictures. If you prefer a different strap material, you can pick it up in the company store. Presidius offers about 25 models with uh, prices starting at 169 and up. All Presidius watches have a two-year warranty, shipping uh, from the US and they take about five days. And the company offers international shipping too. By the way, Presidius released a new diver's watch A5 UDT with a Swiss made Soprat movement, 38mm case size and 200m of water resistance. This is a limited edition series with only 100 numbered pieces. You can find more information on the company website. I will leave a link in the description area if you want to check it out. And I'm thinking about one interesting thing. Uh, can you imagine two paratroopers uh, sitting next to each other on a bench in a plane and a uh, few minutes later jumping out somewhere in the sky over France. The first guy was shot down by the Nazi within a minute and died. But the second guy lived for almost 80 years. This show us how unpredictable life can be. Okay guys, let me know your thoughts about uh, this watch in the comments. And don't forget to like this review and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. Visit uh, our website I review watches.com to find many offers if you want to save money. Uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.